So you're looking for the Ultima Fire Stick Live TV setup tutorial, then this video is for you. Let me show you exactly how you can get more than a thousand live TV channels, depending on your location, directly onto your Fire Stick Fire TV with a fully working program guide. So you can see exactly what's on the channel, what's on now, what's coming up next, all absolutely free. Now, I did do a video recently on the Android TV system, how you can use Google TV with the new free channel lineup directly on the home screen. And lots of you are asking for a similar setup on how we can replicate this on the Amazon devices. Well, in this video today, let me show you exactly how you can do that and really just get the best of live TV content directly on your Fire Stick home screen. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the started. channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so I'm doing my demonstration on an Amazon 4K Fire Stick Max. And the heart of this process is to use the newly added integrated live TV tab. Now, if you can't see this tab on your home screen, what you can do is go over to your settings, go down into MyFi TV. Let's go to about, and if you see this option, this means an update is still pending on your device. So make sure you've got the latest update onto your device. Once you've done that, let's now press the home key let's now move over to the new live TV tab. Now, now this is something that Amazon have been working on and adding in more and more integrated channels, more and more integrated features that you can access directly on the home screen because depending on your location will also determine which applications, which third party applications you can actually pull or extract channels from. So here, for example, in the UK, I may use Plex TV or Pluto TV or Amazon Freeview to get the channels. If I scroll down, if I go over to the settings, and this is basically where I want to choose which applications I want to extract or take the channels from. Now, if I go over to manage channels, we can see on my device, I have three separate sources. But as you can see on the screen right now, this is something that Nathan Carter did a video on recently. You can see when he was doing this setup in the United States, he can see more than a thousand channels from these different sources. So if you're in one of the supported countries, so you can easily install those applications and have them as a source for your channels. Now in mine, I have Freeview, which is built in. I've also installed Pluto TV and Plex TV directly from the Amazon App Store. Let's say, for example, I'm looking for another source. So if I press the home button, I know that Red Bull TV is also another supported source. So I can go to search. Let's type in Red Bull TV. Here we are. Let's click on that. Let's select that. And let me now install that onto my device. And this will now become another source repository, which will also have free live TV channels that I can once again use with the new live TV guide. So I can use the fully working program guide and I can see all of these channels aggregated together in a single screen. Okay, let's click on open. I'm gonna click on skip. And we can see now guys, I now have access to the content in here, lots of different live channels, live shows, lots of different things in here. But the key thing we're looking for is now, I want to integrate this into the live channels app. So let's press home. Let's now go back into live. Let's scroll down. And let me now click on settings. If I click on manage channels, we can see now we have 11 channels from Red Bull TV. So that content has now been integrated and brought into my live TV home dashboard. So I can now access them from a single screen. Let's press back. Now you may want to sync sources to make sure the channels have been refreshed or you have the latest updates from the channels. Let's click on that. So let's say I want to update Freebie. Let's select that. And this will go ahead and complete a channel sync of that particular application. Just making sure that you've got the latest channels, the latest number of channels, all fully downloaded from that particular source. And you can follow a similar process both for Plex TV, Pluto TV, and whichever other third party applications you've added. Okay, so we can see on my device, I've got 172 channels at my disposal. But again, depending on your location, you can easily get more than a thousand channels. Okay, let's now actually view some of this content. So if I press back, 
Now we can see here, I can also add channels into my favorites. I'll do that in just a second. Let's now go to guide. This will now aggregate all of those channels from all of those different sources, bring all of them into a single list and show me that fully working program guide. So here, for example, we can see on um, uh, Unexplained, we have the UFO Chronicles. Let's click on that. Do leave me a comment below if you believe in UFOs or not. And we can see this channel is being pulled from Plex TV. So when I press the select button, it automatically launches the application and should take me directly into that channel. And we can see it's done exactly that. So what a nice, easy way to get all of your favorite live TV applications all aggregated and brought into a single home live TV dashboard. And that's working great. Let's press back and we are taken back to the live guide. So I can now scroll through the list here. We can see on the top left, these channels are being pulled from Plex TV. Keep scrolling down. And we can see we have these channels being pulled from Red Bull TV. And these ones, for example, are from Freevee. Now let's say I want to add this channel as a favorite. If I press the context key, which is the one with the three lines, let's press the button on that. And we can now see I can add this channel to my favorite. Let's do that now. So let's add it to my favorites and we can see it now has a small hot icon next to it. Also, let's say I want to add this uh, British films. Again, press the context key, click on add to favorite channels. And lastly, let's add in party poker. Again, context key, click on add to favorites. And what happens now is if I go to the top of this list, we can see there's a dedicated section just for my favorite channel. So we can see the three channels I've added in. So obviously if they are browsing through, you know, 800, 900 different channels, you can quickly go through the list and the ones that you're interested in, you can add into your favorites, which can then be easily accessed by going to the top of the menu. And we can see them all in here. So super easy to use. Obviously you can add in even more sources, more third party applications into this, depending on your location. Definitely guys, if you are looking for a super easy way to bring all of your favorite live TV channels together from your different third party applications, I do think this new live TV guide from Amazon is definitely worthwhile checking out. Another thing that's also worthwhile checking out is this new special offer from IPVanish just for the next two weeks where you can get total protection for all of your devices at maximum speed. You can change your virtual location. You can hide your IP address. You can stop your ISP and other companies tracking you all for just over $3 a month. So really to get that complete protection, that peace of mind, all devices covered like your Fire Sticks, your Android TVs, phones, tablets, even Windows PCs, laptops, get full protection for all devices, zero logs, maximum speed, really just stay anonymous online. I really think this offer is worthwhile checking out. It does help support the channel. So many thanks if you want to do that. Do leave me a comment below. And let me know what you think about the Fi TV live TV guide and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.